Hello viewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to perform linear correlation analysis using GraphPad Prism. So basically correlation is a measure of the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. So for example here we have two variable sales against advertising expenditure. If these two variables are strongly related to each other, then you would expect the value of sales to increase proportionately as advertising expenditure is increasing, just as you see in this graph. So here we have two statistics that gives us information about one, the strength of the association between the two of them or the correlation between the two variables here you have 0.96 and R value of 1 means there's a perfect correlation the same as when you have a negative 1 means it's a negative correlation so a positive value R value means positive relationship Whereas a negative R value means negative correlation. Now, since this value is close to one, we can, we can say that these two variables are strongly correlated. Now the P value tells you, gives you the probability that uh, this association you're seeing is due to chance. So then any p-value which is very low or less than 5% means that the correlation is statistically significant. So in this graph we have a strong statistically significant correlation between the two variables. Now in this other graph you can see that the points are really scattered about and as the R statistic is 0.34 this tells us that the correlation between the two variables is not very strong but weak and also your p-value is greater than five percent which tells us that this correlation is not statistically significant over here in this graph we have a near perfect correlation as shown by this R value, which is negative, which tells us that the correlation is negative. So the two variables are negatively or uh, inversely proportional to each other. Again, the p-value is significant since it is less than 5%. Here we also see another graph with uh, a moderately strong correlation and uh, a significant p-value. So next I'm going to show you how to perform this kind of analysis using GraphPad Prism. I'm first going to teach you how to find the correlation between one variable versus many other variables. And then I'm going to teach you how to find the correlation between many variables versus many variables, also known as the correlation matrix. I'm going to use the sample data which comes packaged with GraphPad Prism. So here I'm going to find the correlation between the X variable which is ozone versus three other variables. To do that, select the data sheet, go to analyze, and under XY analysis, select correlation. Now this gives us a number of options to choose from. So select compute R for X versus every Y data set. Then make sure this option is also selected. We want to find the two-tail p-value, which simply means that the p-value is going to be calculated considering the correlation in both directions. The 
profit is Itawa is 95% and click OK. Now we get the results of the correlation analysis. Now remember the R statistic represents the strength of the correlation. So a positive R statistic means um, the two variables are positively correlated whilst a negative R statistic indicates that they are negatively correlated. Now here we get the R square value as well. It tells you which percentage of your data is accounted for by the correlation. Now the P or the two-tailed P value tells you whether the correlation is statistically significant. In this case, the correlation is significant for all three variables. Next, I'll show you how to generate a correlation matrix comparing all our variables against each other. So to generate the correlation matrix, first we want to copy the X column and create a new column with the same values. Then we want to change the data sheet type from XY to column. Then select the data sheet, go to analyze. And then under column analysis, select correlation. Now make sure you select this option, compute R for every pair of Y data sets. Now this gives us the correlation matrix showing us the R statistic by comparing each variable to every other variable. So for instance, the R statistic for the correlation between solar R and wind is negative 0.057 and this is a negative value showing that they are negatively correlated. Apart from the R statistic, Graphout Prism also outputs the P values for the correlation between each pair of variables. Also the sample size used for the calculation is also provided. And here we can change the color for each data set. So there we have it. We can see the relationship between the pairs of variables. So that's all for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.